everyone. So we're going to be talking everything Fenty Beauty today. I've got a big box of Fenty products here in front of me. Everything that I need to create a full face. We're going to be going through them. We're going to be using them and I'm going to be letting you know which ones I like, which ones I don't. I do have some old Fenty favorites here and I also have some new releases from the brand, which I'm excited to try. So if you, you know, if you're curious about Fenty, if you want to know what's good and what's not, hits and misses, and then please keep on watching. All right, starting out, because I'm an oily skin type, I'm going to be taking their Pro Filter Soft Matte Primer. This is the first primer that they did release. They have since released uh, like a hydrating version, and um, which is quite nice. It is quite lightweight, but this was like the first product. You know when the brand first launched and they originally came out with, it was like the primer, the foundation. There was like a, like a blotting, like a pressed blotting powder um, and the quick stick thingies, like the cream contours. I feel like it's kind of like what first... I don't know, launch the brand. This primer is really nice. It's really, really lightweight on the skin. Um, I do enjoy the formula. I can't say that I necessarily reach for it every single day. Like I've definitely got other formulas, um, you know, that I do reach for, but it certainly does a good job of like smoothing the skin and creating like a smooth base for your makeup to go on top of. So definitely no complaints from me on this one. And it dries down to kind of like a velvety matte, which I like. Now they do have a pro filter foundation kind of version of this primer. Again, it was the original foundation that they first came out with. And I do quite like that formula. It is very full coverage. It's very long wearing. It's very mattifying. It's beautiful. But they recently came out with the easy drop foundation. And I honestly love this. This is like a much more lightweight formula. It's quite, I mean, it's buildable. Like it's sheer to a buildable kind of a medium coverage. Um, I just like how soft it is on the skin. It does have like a really nice blurring effect on the skin. And I don't know, I've just been so much more into lightweight formulas lately. I've not really been reaching for formulas that are like super full coverage or super mattifying necessarily. Um, I just, I've been into lightweight makeup. I don't know, maybe about six months, but yeah, both the original um, Pro Filter Foundation, it, like it is a really, really nice foundation. It definitely will give you lots of coverage and it will definitely stay in place on your skin. Um, but this one as well, like it's so beautiful. I get a whole day of wear out of this. I do need to touch up with a powder during the day, but this is certainly very flawless and very smoothing. All right, I've zoomed you guys in a little because we're going to do the brows and the eyes. I've got some cream. Obviously, I've got a concealer, but I've got a cream bronzer and a cream blush. So we're going to finish the skin. We're going to do the eyes. I'm going to finish the skin later. So for brows, Fenty have this product here called the Brow MVP. It is a double-ended like eyebrow pencil and it's got the funniest little brush on it. Do you remember those like artiste, um, was it artiste? Artiste uh, makeup brushes. It reminds me so much of like a little miniature version of that. Now I have tried this product once before. Um, I can't say, you know, also that this is a product that I necessarily reach for. Probably so far of all the products that we've used, the foundation is a product that I will have uh, used the most in my time. But it's like a pretty standard -o eyebrow pencil like it does a good job of drawing in little fine strokes to make your brows look nice and natural and it's a nice dry formula so it's really easy to apply i'm sort of a little on the fence with these eyebrow pencils you guys like drugstore brands there are so many drugstore brands that make amazing ones of these i know nyx has like a, a near on exact dupe for this and for a product that's just so simple and so easy to use and you know kind of hard to make a mistake with, I just, I couldn't justify for you guys uh, the price, really. Like if I'm being completely honest, I think that you're better off buying a Maybelline brow pencil or a NYX brow pencil and investing your money into like a really good foundation or investing your money into really good skincare or a really good eyeshadow palette that's easy to blend instead of like kind of wasting your money on an expensive eyebrow pencil. I don't know if that makes sense. I just find like all the formulas are pretty much the same and no point in wasting your money. That is just my thoughts on the matter. So I'm going to fill in this other brow. <laughs> this brow like comes in a lot closer to my nose than this one. So I kind of have to add like quite a few hairs right at the start there. I mean, it's not a bad product. Like it's an eyebrow pencil and it works and it's a nice dry formula. It feels comfortable in my hand. It's got a nice fine tip. But you can get that at the drugstore. Okay, for eye primer, we've got the Fenty Beauty Pro Filter amplifying eye primer. I never use this. I'm going to be straight up. I literally never use this. And that is purely and simply because it has no tint. I, I just, personal preference, I prefer eye primers that actually add coverage to the eye. So cover up, you know, redness, cover up darkness, cover up. I've got like some sort of capillaries. And I always find that an eyeshadow, 
it looks cleaner it looks neater it's kind of like trying to say you were going to be painting a picture and you're starting with dirty paper that's to me that's sort of what it's like so yeah i'll be straight up i never use this it is a nice lightweight formula but the fact that it gives no coverage yeah it's a no from me all right so fenty has launched quite a few eyeshadow palettes they started with the little mini click together palettes and i loved that concept i did a whole swatch and review video on that i think at the end of last year maybe from memory um, but they've recently launched this much larger palette this is the bomb posse mega mix and match eyeshadow palette and it's kind of like a large version uh, of the little mini click together ones and it is all nudes and what you can actually do they've got a highlighter uh, palette like larger palette version of this you can click onto the back or you can click like the little mini palettes on here as well so it's pretty cool so external packaging is exactly the same as their other ones and i'm pretty sure this was released as part of their holiday collection this year as well Ooh, the colors are nice they are all nudes oh but some rich nudes in here which i like like this color here it's like a warm burgundy truffle oh 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 i like this a lot so you've got nudes golds pinks shimmers you have also matte shadows in there as well like this is a really nice neutral palette i love neutral palettes do i have too many of them yes am i ashamed no <laughs> I just love me a neutral palette, okay? I just do. So let's see what the actual formula of this one is like. Now the sticker on the back is upside down, which makes it almost impossible for me to figure out what these shades are called. So I'm just gonna describe them as I go. So I'm gonna go with this light medium. It's almost a cross between like a bone and a brown. And I'm gonna work that one through the crease as a transition shade first. I did quite enjoy the formula of the original little snap together palettes. And I do have a few of them actually that I do reach for quite regularly. A lot of them were quite kind of out there color schemes, um, you know, greens and like a lot of cool tones, which are not necessarily what I tend to reach for. But there are a couple of them um, that I do really enjoy. And I just want to say that color is barely showing up on my skin. So let's go a little deeper and we'll go into this one here, which is more of like a neutral pinky matte brown. Ah, oh, that's better. We've got a bit of payoff now. Um, but yeah, I really enjoyed the formula. I found them to be really blendable. I found them to be really creamy. I thought that the shimmers are really nice. Um, overall, I've quite enjoyed Fenty eyeshadow. She did come out with a large palette gosh it was a while ago and i can't even remember the name of it it was like blue packaging on the outside um i personally prefer the look of this one and the overall vibe of this one in comparison to that these neutrals are definitely blending out beautifully okay with a much smaller blending brush i'm gonna take the dark matte brown from this palette this is always a good test of an eyeshadow palette to see how well a color like this blends it's like the ultimate eyeshadow palette test really <laughs> Oh, she creamy. We like it. So I'm sort of packing it on and then I'm using like little baby circular motions to blend it at the same time. And the edge, even though I'm using the same brush that's loaded with the shadow, you know, the edge is smoothing out pretty well. Cool. Going back in with a larger blending brush just to finish hazing that in. I have got a piece of hair stuck on my face. Oh. I can't figure it. I can feel it on my skin, but I can't find it. It's driving me nuts. I just gouged myself in the eye trying to find it. If that's not commitment, I don't know what is. <laughs> I approve of that eyeshadow, you guys. It was really easy to blend out. Okay, moving into this yummy warm brown now. And I'm going to pack it on with a finger because it is a shimmer. Oh, I picked up way too much then. Oh, that is so nice. I probably could have blended this one in the outer crease actually as well. That's really pretty. It's like a brown, but it has like the tiniest hint of a red, almost like a pinky shimmer. It's not a foil. It's probably like a satin eyeshadow, but really, really rich and pretty. We do have a little bit of fallout, but I would expect that. The edges blend up really nicely. Yeah, I like this palette, guys. It's nice. Now to add a little something extra to the eyes, why don't we take this copper here? And I'm just going to take that on my finger and we'll just pack it right in the center of the lid just to add a little bit of extra dimension. It's very subtle. I will say the shimmers in this are very subtle, but at the same time, they are quite pretty. Like it's definitely neutral and natural. Um, there's nothing like 
OTT about this at all. All right, lower lash sign. I'm going to run that medium brown. And then let's try out some eyeliner. I have got one of the uh, Longwear Liquid Eyeliners. These are called the Fly Liners, and I've got a brown one. Um, this one's called Brown Truffle. Packaging is really pretty. I have tried a black one of these before, and I did really, really like the formula. Um, they're just really nice and long-lasting. I love the idea of a brown eyeliner for something different. Oh, that's a really beautiful warm brown color. You may not be able to see it on camera, I can definitely see it in person. It's actually like quite a warm brown. It's pretty. It just adds like a hint of warmth to the lash line. I actually really like how that brown eyeliner looks. It's so subtle, but it's so, I don't know, it's really flattering. I like. Moving on to mascara, I've got the Fenty Full Frontal Mascara in the shade Cause I'm Black. Um, oh! Don't quote me on this, guys, but I don't think that I've ever tried this. I'm not sure. I can't remember trying it. And if I did try it, it obviously wasn't memorable. Um, really, really pretty packaging. This is meant to be a really good long-lasting formula. It's meant to give lots of length and lots of curl. Oh, maybe I have tried... Oh, guys, I can't remember if I've tried this or not. So this may be a first impression. It may be a second. <laughs> I quite like the bristle brush. It's a nice little small one. And it's a nice dry formula too, which I love. I hate mascaras that are like all super wet and they just make your eyelashes stick together. This is nice. It's definitely loading up on my lashes. I wouldn't say it's necessarily giving too much length, but definitely volume. Try it on the lower lashes. Oh, it's so easy to apply. Yeah, that has absolutely loaded up my lower lashes. I really like this mascara. That is a yes from me on that one. Okay, I'm gonna do the other eye off camera. Fenty don't actually have any lashes that I'm aware of. So I'm gonna chuck some lashes on and then we'll be back to do the skin. All right, the rest of my eyes are done. Honestly, they're looking like little chocolate truffles and I ain't mad about it. Uh, overall, really easy palette to use. Obviously, if you've got, you know, other neutral palettes that you love, you don't need it. But if you're after a nice nude eyeshadow palette, it's definitely a nice one. So moving back onto the skin. Oh, and I will link all the brushes uh, and the lashes that I used uh, in the description bar for you guys, along with all of the Fenty products as well. So back onto the skin, Fenty, uh, this is their Pro Filter uh, Instant Retouch Concealer. Now they did come out with the Eye Bright uh, Concealer and I really, really, really love that one as well. But because we've gone with like a lower coverage foundation, I'm going to go with a higher coverage concealer um, just to sort of bump things up the tiniest little bit. Now that my eyes are smoky, I'm sort of like, oh, maybe I do need a little bit more coverage. <laughs> so packing that one underneath my eyes. Now you're probably like, whoa, that's a lot of product. But this concealer actually goes um, like it just melts sort of into the skin and it really disappears. It definitely does a good job of brightening. But interestingly enough, uh, it's also not a formula that I reach for really regularly. I don't know, like I, all, I always enjoy these products when I use them and they're definitely good quality products. And like Fenty overall as a brand, there's not been many products that I've come across that I didn't really like. Um, but even though, like with all of that in consideration, I still don't reach, you know, for a lot of these products every day. And there's got to be a reason behind that, but I don't know. I think I've probably just got too many choices, honestly. <laughs> like they're definitely really, really good products, but I guess, you know, I've got my holy grail, so I sort of stick with them. Stick with what I know, don't I? So that's really brightened the under eye area. And like I said, even though it looks like a lot of product was applied, it just shears out into nothing, um, you know, but still gives a lot of coverage, still gives a lot of brightness. But yeah, it's not like a cakey formula, which I love. And I'm just going to put a little more eyeshadow just underneath the eyes and the lower lash line. Just to smoke that out again. And this side too. Now, one thing that I will say that I have noticed already, and I mean, it's probably a little early to judge because I've not actually set down my under eyes with powder yet, but the mascara had already transferred. I feel nervous. And I'm just wondering if maybe that's why I can't remember using it. Like maybe it transferred really badly. And so I used it once and then I was like, whoa, can never use that again. I will be updating on all of that. Don't you worry. Now we actually have a cream bronzer and a cream blush. And then after that is all done, I will set it down with powder. So I really, really enjoy the formula of the Fenty cream blushes. Um, they're really, really nice. They're very blendable and very natural looking on the skin. They are called the Cheeks Out Cream Bronzers. And I have the shade Teddy here. And you can see from this, it has been quite well loved. I'm going to pick it up on an angled contour brush. Whoa, okay, I probably picked up way too much. 
start. I'm going to start working this into the skin. Now, I do quickly want to say also, I have used this formula over top of powdered foundation as well. Um, so obviously, you know, foundation, concealer, and then powder it down and then go in with a cream blush. It's definitely like an old wives tale, um, you know, as far as makeup because you know, like the old rules that everyone has to follow um, that you can't use a cream product over the top of a powder product. It's really, really not the case. I support you doing whatever the hell you want, truly. Um, obviously, you know, there are some formulas that don't necessarily work so well, but this Fenty one definitely, definitely works amazing over the top of a powder as well. Just a really, really nice, soft, you know, cream bronzer that's not patchy and it does actually dry down to a really nice finish. It's a, it's a beautiful formula. It lasts all day. I Thumbs up from me on this one. And then the cream blush shade that I'm going to go with today is Petal Popping. This is a very similar formula uh, to the cream bronzer. Just easy. Easy to apply, easy to wear, long lasting on the skin. And certainly if you are a lover of cream products, I think you'll enjoy it. And I've also tried this one over top of powder as well. And it worked really well. Now being that I'm an oily girl, I absolutely need to powder this down. It is not going to work without me powdering it down. Um, and I've got the Fenty Pro Filter Loose Powder in Banana. Now I have reviewed this particular powder before and I'm not a fan of the formula. Um, it just, for some reason, I guess, you know, maybe because of how oily I am, I'm not sure. It just looks quite crepey on my skin. The banana shade is really brightening though. So I'm gonna pack this underneath the eyes to help brighten that and also my nose. And we're just gonna go ahead and mattify all of my skin. It's banana tinted, but it's not, it doesn't really add too much color. Oh my God, the mascara is transferring. <laughs> that is a definite shame, that. Disappointing. Still pressing this powder in. It is doing a good job of mattifying and taking away that shine that was on my skin, which I like. Now just taking the same brush that has a little bit of that cream bronzer left on it. I'm just gonna very gently just go over some of the areas because I feel like the banana tint from that powder has kind of taken it away just a little. Now for the cheeks, I've got one of their Kilowatt Foil uh, this is actually a highlighter, but it actually it, it works really, really well as a blush topper. I've used it many times for that and I just adore it. So the shade uh, is Ruby Riches. Obviously, this is a blush for anybody who has a skin tone similar to mine, but for deeper skin tones, it's absolutely a highlighter and really, really beautiful on deep skin. But I'm going to just take the tiniest little bit of this and just very softly kind of put it on like right on the higher point of my cheekbone there. It'll add just the softest sort of ruby sheen to the skin. I love using this product like this. It's really beautiful. And it's not, it's not like a shimmery kind of blush product that actually, you know, makes my skin look textured. It still stays really smooth looking, which I really, really like. Going over that to really push it into the skin. And then highlight. Now Fenty have got a lot of highlighters. Um, kind of difficult to choose because I honestly adore all of their highlighter formulas. But I think for me, these Diamond Bomb ones are still my favorite. So these are called the Diamond Bomb All Over Diamond Veils. And they're a very, very different highlighter formula to pretty much every highlighter formula out there. They don't necessarily have, uh, I guess th there's no pigmentation to them almost. It's like a clear base with like a very, very fine shimmer um, sort of mixed in. Like they don't add any actual eyeshadow kind of color to the skin if that makes sense like they don't really add a tint to the skin they just add these tiny little specks of sparkles um but the sparkles again they're not chunky they don't emphasize texture um and they look beautiful so these do come in a bunch of different colors this is rose rave and it's just oh, it's honestly beautiful so picking it up on a highlighter brush i'm just gonna add a tiny little bit to my cheekbones here oh i just love that it looks on the skin this one's sort of like a rose gold almost but yeah like i said it doesn't add a color to the skin it just adds these little shimmery oh i absolutely adore you know how else i love to use these and i have shown you guys this before so do your entire eyeshadow look pick up the product on a finger and see how like there's you can't see the color but in person like you can see like all of these little shimmers you can actually press it over top of your eyeshadow and it adds this really gorgeous, like subtle shimmery kind of effect, but without taking away from the original eyeshadow color that you applied, it just makes it look glittery and beautiful. 
I love using these like that. Yeah, that mascara is 1000% transferring. Oh my god, I fixed it like 10 times. Yeah, the mascara is a no from me, guys. It's a no. All right, lastly, moving on to lips. Fenty has a lot of different lipstick formulas. They have cream lipsticks. They've got liquid lipsticks. They've got lip glosses. They've got cream glosses. They've got tinted lip balms. They've literally got everything. So you've certainly got plenty of choice depending on what kind of formula you are into. Uh, for my lips today, I'm going to be taking the Plush Matte, the Mademoiselle Plush Matte Lipstick in the shade Up to No Good, which is kind of like a really warm tone nude. Oh, this color. Can I even, oh, are we going to commit because I've already started, shall we? This color doesn't really work on my skin tone at all. <laughs> that is intense, you guys. I mean, it's a beautiful formula. Like, it's a really, really nice formula. Um, why did I choose this color? I'm not sure. On my skin tone, this one kind of comes off as like a neon or pastel kind of orange. Ooh. Mm, 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 mm. okay damn it okay hold that thought guys because i'm gonna need to start the lips again i mean let me know in the comments what do you think of this color on me for me it's just too pale and it's a little too orange all right seeing as i've shown the plush matte lipstick formula let's have a little look at one of the lip uh the liquid lipsticks this is the stunner lip paint in the shade uncuff i adore these these are a really really nice you know amazing packaging really nice formula i love everything about them and i particularly love this color like they're so easy to apply you guys they're amazing so easy to get a perfect line too really 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 love that lip color i should have I should have known, I should have gone with what I usually know and picked that one first. But also, back again, mascara has transferred again. Oh my god. Like, and I have powdered down that entire area. It should not be transferring like that, but it is. But overall, guys, this is the finished look. As far as the actual products go, I really love the primer. I really love the uh, foundation. The concealer is nice, but I don't necessarily reach for it. I do think that you're going to find better at the drugstore. I think the brow pencil is probably a miss because you can save your money and get a cheaper one. Uh, the eyeshadow palette is nice. If you're after a nude eyeshadow palette, I think you'll definitely enjoy it. The mascara is an absolute miss. Love the brown eyeliner. Like it's just added like this really warm hint to the lash line. You heard my thoughts on all of the cheek products already. I really, really like them. This particular lipstick, I mean, beautiful formula, but just not the right color for me. However, the liquid lip, stunning. So those are all of my thoughts on all of these Fenty Beauty products that I've tried. Overall, this is a brand that doesn't really disappoint me that often. Like usually their products are pretty stinking good. It's a real shame about that mascara. Like don't if you no i'm gonna end up with raccoon eyes in absolutely no time like i can just tell but let me know all of your thoughts down in the comments what products do you love from fenty what products don't you love from fenty uh, and what products do you recommend that i try from the brand as well i hope today's video was really helpful and i'd love to know guys i really enjoy doing these tutorials with a full face of one brand so let me know what brand you want to see a full face of next but i hope that you enjoyed the video give it a thumbs up if you did i love you guys heaps and i'll catch you in my next one Bye!